Okay, we're going to set up our tail bag now. So this is going to be a detached, okay? We, are, we have not buckled this to our crupper. This, like I said, it's easier if you do it with it when it's on the horse, but for initial setup, it might be easier for you just to do it, you know, on a table. And so the crupper now is not buckled, okay? So we've got the two ribbons cascading from the top of it, like this. And then we've got the back and the buckle is not attached, okay? So let's assume you're doing it as I am, okay? So this is what it's going to look like. Here's your tail bag. We're going to start with the open side facing us. And again, we have two loops. This is for the crupper tail set. The bustle bag is going to be slightly different. And we're going to have another strap here. As you can see that. Okay, that's just attached to the back of the bag. So what we're going to do is we're going to first we're going to put our loops through the rings on the crupper. So your tail would be cascading this way towards you. This is the open side of the bag, okay? Let's just see if I can. So this would be the opening. Here it's closed, kind of. And then you've got the opening here facing you. You're gonna take your loop, you're gonna go away from you and you're going to pull that on both sides. You're going to go through your other loop here, your ring, excuse me. You're going to pull it through and you're going to now have your two loops prepared. Now you're going to grab the bottom of your crupper buckle and you're going to put that back loop through the buckle, like so. Okay, and then you're going to pull your ribbons accordingly. Yeah, this looks like a messy situation, but so let's just look. We have now pulled our buckle from our crupper through the back strap, okay? And we've got our loops through our rings and just standing to the side, okay? So now what you're gonna do next is you're going to take your loops, you're gonna feed it through your crupper buckle. So you take both sides, put it up and over. So now it is attached to your crupper pad. Your ribbons are out to the side, and so now this isn't going anywhere, okay? As you realize here, once we get this all set up again, you're going to see the, the mechanics of how that um, will work for your tail. Okay, so now we've got the ribbons to the side because these are for the top pad. Okay, we're going to take our webbing, which is the strap to the crupper, which attaches the crupper pad to the crupper itself. Okay, we're going to just tighten that down. We're just going to buckle it as normal. So there we have this bag is now completely attached to the crupper tail set and the crupper pad. So your tail would be cascading over this way. Okay, so now we're going to put it kind of in an upright position as best as I can. Your tail would be cascading down this way. You're going to open your Velcro. Okay. Open your Velcro. Your clean tail, you're going to take and just roll it gingerly, stick it in the bag. You're going to Velcro the bag. Okay. And now you're going to come up and over your crupper. There's elastic here, okay? So all this elastic, you're going to come up and over the crupper and capture the whole crupper inside the tail bag. So 
go. Let me just stick these ring, these ribbons in here because those would have been attached to your top pad. So if you are got your horse in a top pad, working for straightness, just keeping everything nice and neat, you're going to now, everything is enveloped in the bag. Okay? So this is what you're going to see when you're going to do the last step. These G-strings are just here. These two ribbons at the bottom of the bag, which are now the top finish ribbons, right? Okay, let's just turn this around. These are your harness straps. You're going to take your ribbons and you're going to attach those to your harness and just do a simple shoelace knot. Or you can go over one side at one time and then wrap it around the other, whatever system you guys use. So basically now, this, when you're looking at the back of this bag, this is your horse's rump. Your tail is going through the crupper. Nothing, this bag basically drops down. Let me just make sure I'm getting a good image here. This is sealed. Nothing can get into this tail bag. It's already Velcroed, and your tail is encompassed. Let me see if I'm getting a picture. Is encompassed in the bag. Okay? And these straps, of course, are coming over the top line of the horse. Your horse's rump is here. Your tail is going into the crupper. And excuse the G strings here. But basically, when the horse is defecating, the manure is dropping down along, cascading along the bag. You're in for your mares. Again, cascading. Oh, this is PVC coated. It's wash and wear. I mean, I've got a bag here that's probably 25 years old that was in use. Let me just show you. It's a navy bag, and this has been washed. Um, it's got some little, you know, nicks after 25 years. You know, there's some holes. This is a really old bag. Like I said, the design is even antiquated when Jean first put her bags together. Again, here's the same concept. Nothing's changed. You've got the Velcro, and you've got the elastic, and then you've got your ribbons here. Okay, the same exact design. Just this is 25 years old, and it's been washed, it's been dried. Um, like I said, there's you know, if you don't have things for your horse to snag their tail or the bag on, these can last you a really long time. Um, as they age, they're, this is still, I can still feel this PVC coating. It's like you can hear it. Okay, so this has been washed. You can hang dry these, um, but for the padding, we suggest that you machine wash and machine dry when you first get them to supple them up and then set them in your crupper so that they start to take the shape of your crupper. Because we've got all kinds of different cruppers. We've got, you know, like waterfall cruppers. We've got short cruppers, long cruppers. So whatever it is you're using. So let me just go back to this. And again, um, let me just show that this bag with here the elastic you can see the tail is totally encompassed in this in the bag like I could go through this way to show you like you can see light but the tail is inside the bag so everything urine manure is cascading along this bag okay and so nothing gets in the bag now we have tail squares but um Jean we do make the tail squares, but the problem is the tail can escape if your horse is actually really active. So with this system, again, when you would be looking at the rump of your horse, this is what you're going to see. You're going to see 
harness straps going out beyond your horse's top line. And then your tail is going to be completely enclosed, enveloped in this um, tail bag. So nothing in, nothing out. She's had naughty horses over the course of her years of training and no no tail has escaped. I'm not saying it's not possible, but everybody who's been using these products for the past 26 years has not had an issue with their tails getting out. So once you wash, you groom your tail, you roll it up in your hand, you stick it into the bag, um, and then you finish again with your last part of your attachment to the harness straps. So um, that's the basics. So there you have the tail bag, which attaches to the tail set crupper. And then we have a bustle bag that attaches to a bustle. And um, that, I believe, is on our website. So if you have any questions, please call because we're here, you know, 9 to 5, Monday through Friday. And we love to help you guys be successful with taking care of your beautiful tails. So thanks for watching. And um, if you have questions, let me know. Noe Lenny, Top Notch Tails, 575-419-0682. Have a great day.